So yesterday we picked a sprite that was going to ask the questions and I also showed you how to upload a picture of your scientist to be the second sprite that answers the questions. So today I'm going to show you the code that you'll need for each sprite and then tomorrow we'll input the information. So what you're going to want to do is go to your account and log in and you will see a file folder that says my stuff. And you're going to want to click on the scientist that we started. And you want to see inside because we're still working on the inside of it. OK, so when you are creating code, you want to start with an event. And these are the events over here, though, these bright yellow blocks. And I like when the flag is clicked, but you could also do when a different key is pressed. You can click on this. You can choose any of the keys on your keyboard that when you click that key, your code will start. It's up to you, but I really like the flag one. So you got to start with that. And then you're going to start with some looks. Okay. So, oh. You're going to start with some looks, and those are the purple blocks. So I want to have the ones where the time is already with it. That saves me some blocks, and it saves me some time. So I'm going to click on this one because it's going to start first, and it's going to say hello for a number of seconds. And so when I click on the flag, Oh, sorry. When I click on the flag, it says hello and it waits there. You can make this number wait longer or shorter. I'm going to make it wait longer because I want my scientist to say hello back. So I'm going to make it wait for three seconds. And then I'm going to start into my. my questions. So you may want to have a greeting and then you could ask a question like, um, when were you born? And then maybe you want to make this for three extra seconds. So as you add these blocks in, these purple say blocks that have the time period, you're going to keep adding them and your conversation is going to grow. Now, this is just the conversation for your frog, right? Because that's the one that's clicked right here. And that's what's showing right here. So you know that this this code only happens for your frog or only happens for your interview sprite. Whatever sprite you picked to ask the questions, that's this code. Now. Let me move this out of the way. Now I'm going to click on my scientist. See, when I click on this, there's no code there. So I have to go to events. I like my, I want to use the same one. So if I chose this one with the space bar in it, then I need to choose it for this one. If I chose the flag, then I need to choose the flag. So both of your sprites should start the same way, OK? And then I'm going to go over to looks. And I want these say blocks too, but I'm not talking first. My, my sprite that's asking the questions is starting first. So I need to wait a little bit. So I'm going to go over to control, the sort of orange block, and I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait two seconds for my frog to say hello, and then I'm going to go over to the purple block and put this in. So now when I click my flag, it alternates. And so that's how you make your code. So today I really just want you to add that uh, event block, add your control block for your scientist, and add those looks blocks for both of your sprites. Sound good?